Hey everyone. Today I'm going to talk about physical boundaries. And when I say a physical boundary, I mean that each of us as humans, we have the right, the inherent right to say who touches us, how, when, and where. And also if people are allowed to touch our personal belongings. So those are, phys those are the physical boundaries that I am talking about. And with coronavirus and the reopening of the country, we're really seeing a spotlight on, well, a lot of boundaries, but physical boundaries uh, for sure. So let's give examples around that. If somebody is, let's say you're at a small gathering and someone goes to hug you and you don't necessarily feel, feel comfortable with that person hugging you, if you hug them anyways, right, that is being boundaryless, meaning that you are more concerned about not offending that person rather than protecting yourself. So when we are boundaryless, whether it's physical, emotional, or intellectual, there is a sense of abandonment, meaning we abandon ourselves in order to care for somebody else or because we don't want to deal with the confrontation or the emotions that it might elicit with us protecting ourselves. If we are boundary full, we are going to come across a little bit as, as, as um, not approachable. So someone who is boundary full isn't able to give cues, social cues that read, I'm open, um, I'm welcoming, I, um, I have a sense, yeah, I have a sense of openness around touch. And again, that person is protected but not connected. There's a sense of disconnection around human touch in general. So there's a wall, they just feel walled off and that is being boundary full. With containment, so let's give an example again with, with coronavirus and, and how we're dealing with it. If someone is uncontained, let's say you feel comfortable going on airplanes, not wearing masks, um, not social distancing, um, you know, being in gatherings inside more than 10 people. Uh, if, if you feel comfortable with that, that's, that's okay. These are the personal decisions and there's no judgment on that. I think where it becomes a containment issue is if you go into um, a small gathering and you are hugging people and saying that it's not a big deal, um, you know that you've been indoors in a large crowd and it's not a big deal, telling people that, speaking close to them, not uh, respecting social distance, that's gonna be a sense of uncontainment. That is going to be um, not respecting other people's rights, other people's boundaries, the way that they might wanna protect themselves. So something to be really conscientious of is if, if, you, if you practice not wearing a mask and being indoors in closed space and not social distancing, again, that's fine. And when uh, you go over to someone's house or someone invites you in, you can always say, hey, this is what I'm practicing around the coronavirus and, and I just wanna let you know so that you can make a decision about whether you wanna hang out with me or not because this is what I've been doing. So that would be respectful and respecting other people's, other people's space and other people's ideas and emotions and physical boundary system. Being overly contained would just be again that um, protected and not connected. So someone who's overly contained is going to not be able to um, to state their needs uh, for touch or for physical contact because they don't know what they are. There's a disconnection almost with self, so there's a numbness there and that's being overly contained. So let me know your thoughts. Um, what have you guys been experiencing with the reopening and your boundaries? And I look forward to hearing from you.